Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Dominic from Acrea and today we have a look at the Clayton project here in GitHub and on the local machine in the code. And we will see how to rate Clayton regarding activity, readability, testability and maintainability. So let's get started. So here we are in the Clayton GitHub repository. And the first thing we want to rate is activity. So we can see here, the last commit has been done 10 days ago, which is quite active. But uh, yeah, we've seen a lot um, more projects where, where there were commits each hour or yeah, at least every day. And here we have 10 days uh, from the last commit. And yeah, this is a quite active project and I can give Clayton here four out of five stars. Now let's go to readability. So I have checked out the code of Clayton here and we are in the genesis.go file inside the blockchain folder. And as we see here, the project is written in Go. So Go is a really cool language. Um, yeah, the, the goal is to, to make it um, as easy as possible to read, to understand, and as short as possible to, to write um, yeah, code um, in particular. So if you scroll down here to some functions, we see that um, yeah, there are a lot of comments here. And there is a big comment on top of every file here, which is yeah, the license in this case. It's not very special, but um, yeah, here mainly every function has a comment above it. Sometimes really big comments. And there are only a few uh, functions that ha don't have any comments. But um, yeah, it's quite easy to understand the functions without comments. So it's only a switch here, which um, gets a parameter of type genesis pointer. And here have a switch case where you, you, yeah, you decide uh, on which case you return uh, which value. So if config or default, it's quite easy to understand here. Yeah, and the whole code is um, very good and um, very easy to read and to understand. And that's really important if, you, if you're new to a project and you want to improve it, if you're yeah, a community a member, or in particular, if, you, um, if you're hiring people, helping you developing a project. And yeah, this is really good. And I give Clayton a four out of five stars here. The next thing is testability. And this is a really big topic because um, yeah, you always have to um, have tests for your project. So you can be sure if you change um, anything in your code, that the main functionality has not been broken. And I was quite impressed about this project because there are a huge amount of tests. So you have tests here in the tests folder, but you have also tests inside uh, the subfolders here. So you have a test here, a test here and here. And if you go here to the testing section, I've run uh, a few tests here. You see, you have a huge amount of tests. So every folder contains tests. And yeah, I'm quite impressed because uh, yeah, as much if you write uh, uh, yeah, really uh, good tests and you have a bunch of them, then you can be sure that the project runs in uh, every state, no matter if you change something. And um, yeah, so this is really, really good. And I will give Clayton a five or five stars here. So regarding the maintainability, I think Go is a really cool language to code, this, uh, to code a project this big. And yeah, I think Go is a really cool language, as I said, and this is not only my opinion, it's the opinion of many, many developers out there. And it's a huge benefit for the project to, yeah, for example, if you want to hire a person or a huge team, um, making your project even better, you will find so many developers out there who are really intelligent, coding projects in Go and this is, this is a really great uh, benefit for them. The only thing I have to say about the documentation here is that there isn't much documentation on um, how to you know, 
build your project initially. So you have your building state here, make all or make particular um, binaries here. Um, but yeah, I have to, I wish there were more documentation about um, these commands in particular. And um, yeah, overall, I think I can give Clayton for the maintainability a four out of five stars. So in the end, Clayton is a really cool project and the activity was really good. So um, the last commit has been done 10 days ago. So four out of five stars. Readability, it's written in Go, so uh, it's really easy to read. There are a lot of comments inside the code. So readability, four out of five stars. So regarding testability, they really impressed me because there are a lot of tests. They're testing nearly everything. And yeah, this is not, not that uh, often uh, out there in the developer world. And I think they're using the test-driven development. It's a pattern where you first develop a test and after that you develop your code. So you know what you want to, to have inside the test. And after that, you will yeah, develop the, the, the code the function that results the expected result, uh, the, that, that brings the expected result. And it's a really cool pattern. I, I think they're applying it and yeah, it's really cool and it's really impressive. So five out of five stars. And the last but not least, maintainability. Go is a really cool language to learn. And um, yeah, there are many developers out there who can yeah, make Clayton or, or Go projects in general even better. And there could be more documentation, but uh, all in all, I think it's really good maintainable. So four out of five stars. So this gives us in total 4.25 stars out of five. So it's a really good review here. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this review? Let me know also what project I should review next. And have a great day. See you next time. Bye bye.